obviously I, I work a lot at speaking my own language, but I'm someone that believes that cultural diversity is as important as biological diversity to sustainability. You don't want a biological monocrop. The Irish potato famine probably taught us that. And you don't want a cultural monocrop either. You want everybody to think the same and to be the same. And uh, you know, we had a long time of what's known as the melting pot. And I'm, I'm not a fan of that, you know. I don't want a puree you know, where everything's kind of the same and you can shop at Walmart. I like to see a little bit more diversity because I think that that strengthens a democracy. So it's a uh, naming and claiming that exists as a part of the culture of a country that I think needs to be reconsidered when one considers where we are and where we need to go. I want to say this because it's an interesting uh, construct of who gets to decide what is sacred in this society and that you have legal institutions that come ostensibly from a different paradigm, a, you know, a Christian paradigm that are making judgments on what is sacred, you know, to other people, you know, in this land. And, um, and then the quantification of sacredness. I'm not really clear how to quantify sacred. You know, I don't, I don't have that one down. You know, but I, I say that because I think it is a, you know, a valuable discussion to have in, in, this, in this society.